Okay, this is the second time I've filmed this video because I can't seem to get focused right. Um, but welcome. I hope I'm in focus. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this today's video um, is going to be what is in my pencil case video. You guys might recognise this pencil case from a competition that I did recently on my Instagram. If you aren't, follow me on Instagram, check it out. Uh, it's Happy Abby. I'll put a link somewhere here or it'll be in the description. I do competitions quite often, so you can win some nice stationery. Um, but also, I post stationery items that are found from high street stores that are usually quite cheap. So, um, yeah, if you love stationery as much as I do, go and check that out. So, let's start with the pencil case. This is a cute bunny pencil case that I got from Paper Chase. It was quite pricey actually, um, it was about £7, maybe more, I'm not sure, but I love it. It's got cute ears, it's small enough to fit in your bag without bulking it up, um, and it fits the perfect amount of stationery in it. Um, really cute. So, let's have a look inside. Um, the first things I'm going to do is the pens. Um, I really like to keep my pencil case simple, especially at the moment, so I only keep the essentials in. Um, it means that you're not rummaging through a pencil case full of pens that don't work or shavings and stuff like that. It's all simple, clean um, and easy to get through. So I'll start with the pens. The pens are the least exciting things in my pencil case at the moment. Um, the first thing is this Bic multicoloured pen, which has got black, red, blue and green and it's just um, yeah, it's pretty simple, it's thick, and I love Biro at the moment because I find it so annoying when you highlight an ink pen and it smudges, and with Biro you don't ever get that problem, um, and I feel like I have more control over a Biro pen than I do an ink pen. The next is this basic red pen, um, again for underlining, and there's not really much to say about that, it's, it's thick. My favourite things to buy, my favourite two stationary items to buy is pencils and rubbers, or erasers as you might call them in America. I don't know why I'm obsessed with them, but I do, I love them. And most recently I'm obsessed with mechanical pencils. So the first one I'm going to show you is this one that actually came in a pack of three from Tiger, and it's so cheap. The pack of three was one pound, so this isn't a lot at all, it's like 33p if we were going to... Um, calculate it singularly, um, and it's this beautiful tropical green leaf um, pencil, and again as I said it's mechanical, yeah, and the way you refill it is from the nib rather than at the top, which is a bit weird for mechanical pencils, but yeah, I love it, it looks beautiful, it's really really pretty and easy to write with, um, yeah, the only thing is, is it, because it's cheap, the I feel like the patterns could come up really, off really quickly, um, so I don't think it's going to last that long, but what are you going to lose for 33p? And the next one is slightly more expensive and it's from Moody and it's this mechanical wooden pencil and it's really really thin so I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, give me a second, I might put this down a bit. Okay, I've put my camera down a bit because it looks... A little bit better. I love it so much. Um, it's got a black little rubber at the top where you can refill the um, lead and it's just beautiful. It was a lot more pricier, I can't remember how much it was, but it I bought it with a pen that was exactly the same style, it was like wooden and they just look so nice together. There's something about the simplicity of Muji that is just, yeah, I just love it. I love Muji so much. So. The next is highlighters. Now on Instagram, if you are a big Instagram follower, if you love bullet journals or studygrams like I do, a lot of people are obsessed with midliners. Um, and I did buy a pack, but I was kind of disappointed. I mean, I bought the pastel, pastel set, which means it's like, it is a lot less pigmented, but I just didn't like them. The only thing I did like was that it had two sides, so one side was a highlight and one side was like a pen, so you could underline things, um, which was nice to have that choice. But I wasn't, I wasn't obsessed with it. Apart from its aesthetic, it, I didn't really like it. Um, so I went back to two highlights that I absolutely love, um, and it's the Stabilo, um, 
says Swing Cool, I don't know if that's the addition of the highlighter, but I love them. I always come back to these, I think they're great. They're, the stuff on it's rubbed on, it just sh off, which shows how much I use them. Um, they're really pigmented, they've lasted such a long time. You can get them in so many different colours, green, yellow, orange, and then I've just got the pink and the purple, and I just think they're really good. Um, yeah, so not much else to say about that, apart from they're really nice and they work very well. The next thing, kind of basic, don't really know what to say about this, apart from it's a silver kind of, it can't be metal, or maybe it is metal, uh, ruler, and it looks beautiful. Again, it's from Muji. As I said before, everything from Muji is just beautiful. Um, it's 15 centimeter um, length, so it's perfect for a small pencil case, and I just like it. There's not really much else to say about it, apart from it feels good, it looks good, and it works as a ruler. The next thing is probably my most, the thing that I love the most. As I said, I love buying pencils and rubbers, slash erasers, and it is this rubber. It's like a, a spiral rubber, um, and it's from a shop that we have in Bristol. I don't know if they have them, if they have a store anywhere else, but they definitely have an online store, and they're called Papersmiths, and the stuff in there is definitely pricier, but it is really, really nice stationery. Um, and my dad actually got me this, so I don't know how much it is, but it is really cool. I don't think, let's see if I can get this to focus. No. Oh no, I might focus now. Um, I can't focus it, but it's basically a spiral thing, and the point of it, the reason for it to be spiral, is so that you can be more precise with your rubbing out, um, because it's got loads of corners, um, so the whole rubber is pretty much cornered, so that you can be very precise with what you're rubbing out, which I think is a really cool idea, it's so simple, it looks cool, and that's that for my rubber. My final um, item is this um, Tipex corrector and it's in a little snail, it's a blue snail and the top of it is the snail's head which is kind of weird but I still think it's really cute and it works really well and it's great if you make mistakes with pens um, and I got this from another Instagram um, called Stationery Closet and they do really really cool stuff so go and check out their uh, Instagram slash website um, but yeah, there's not much else to say apart from it's a cool corrector, and I really, really like it. That is it for my video. I hope you liked all the things I have in my pencil case. Let me know in the comments what your favourite item was, and what do you guys keep in your pencil case? Do you have other stuff that I don't have in mine? Let me know. If you like the video, please give it a like, and if you like my content, I would very much appreciate if you subscribed. Um, the more of us the better and yeah that's it i hope you guys have a great day slash evening and i will see you on my next video bye